Hey, welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in simplest possible way. In the series of pattern printing, previously we have seen so many patterns and solved using for loop, string concatenation and also using string multiplication. In this video, we will be solving this particular pattern using for loop, string concatenation and also using string multiplication. If you don't know about string concatenation and string multiplication, you could watch my first video about pattern printing where I have explained clearly about string concatenation and string multiplication. Having said that, let us go ahead and see how we can solve this particular pattern. So what we will be doing is that first we will solve this particular pattern from this point to above as one pattern and from this point to below as another, as another pattern. By combining both of these patterns, we will get the whole pattern like this. So having said that, let us go and see how we can get this particular pattern. So for that, what I will be taking is that I will take a variable called rows to know how many number of rows that we wanted. Statically, now I will take five rows. Later, dynamically, we will take input from the user. So based on the user input, we will print this particular pattern. So I am taking the variable rows as five. Now, if you carefully observe here, here along with stars, we have spaces in middle of this particular pattern, right? So for that reason, I will take one more variable which is of spaces. So I will assign spaces variable as zero because in the first row, I don't have any spaces. Because of that reason, I will assign this spaces variable as zero initially. So now what I will do is that I will, I will generate a range of values from 5 to 1. So for that reason, I will use a for loop for i, I am taking a variable i membership operator in. I am generating a range of values by using this range function. So if you don't know about range function, you could watch my video about range function as well. So now I will mention what kind of values that we wanted here. So for that reason, I will be mentioning rows to 0 on each iteration I want to reduce by minus 1. By mentioning this, we will get the values from 5 till 1 on each iteration I will reduce the values with minus 1. So let us go ahead and see what values we are getting initially. So I am printing the value i here. So I am getting the value as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So having know, know, having knowing this particular uh, string multiplication, what we will be doing is that first we will generate this particular stars and later we will generate this particular spaces and after again we will generate this particular stars here. So for that reason what I will be doing is that I am taking a star here, observe carefully. I am taking a star, later what I am doing is that I am multiplying this particular star with i. So by mentioning this i, we will reduce the values from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So like that only we have this particular pattern, right? It was reducing on each row. So for that reason, I have taken this i. Later, I am concatenating this particular string with spaces. So if you carefully observe here, we have spaces on each iteration, on each row, increasing row. So for that reason, I am taking a space here and I am multiplying the spaces with the actual spaces that we have in this variable spaces. So for that reason, I am mentioning spaces and again, I am concatenating the spaces with the, again, we have stars in the right side, right? So for that reason, I will mention one more star here and I will multiply this star with this particular i. So like that, we will be getting the values of in the decrementing order. So later after completing this, we need to increase this particular spaces. So initially we have the spaces, right? If we keep the spaces as it is, we won't get anything because of that reason. I will mention spaces plus equal to 2. Why I have mentioned plus equal to 2 is that on each row increasing, the values of spaces are increased by 2. So in the second row, you can observe two spaces. In the third row, you can observe 1, 2, 3, 4. And in the fourth row, you can observe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like that, on each iteration increasing, on each row increasing, the spaces are increased by 2. For that reason, I am mentioning plus equal to 2. two. By mentioning this, we will be increasing the spaces by 2 on each iteration. So, if I execute this, I can able to see the pattern which is of above pattern. So, I hope you can able to see this. So now what we will be doing is that we want this below pattern. So after once we 
print this below pattern i will explain one more time clearly about how we are generated this particular pattern so to generate this below pattern i will go with one more for loop and try to generate that pattern as well so for that reason i am using for j in range i will be generating a range of values from 2 to 5 because we have already having this one star so i don't want another star again so for that reason i will start my range of values from 2 to how many number of rows we are having so for that reason i am mentioning rows plus 1 by mentioning rows plus 1 i will stop the range of values until rows so later in the loop what i will be doing is that first we want stars right so that is what we are having so for that reason i will mention star here and I, mul I will multiply this star with j value so like that the values of this particular stars will be incremented on each iteration so later what we will be doing is that we will concatenating these particular stars with spaces if you carefully see here we have spaces right for that reason i am multiplying this with spaces so we have spaces variable previously that is what we are using here also so later what i will be doing is that i am multiplying this particular star with j value so to get this particular this particular pattern in the right side so later what i will be doing is that i will increment the spaces on each iteration with two so if you carefully see here here we have six spaces here we have four spaces here we have two spaces like that the spaces are decreasing for that reason i am mentioning spaces minus equal to two so if i execute this particular pattern we will get the pattern but in a different format so let us go ahead and execute this so as i am executing this we are getting some different pattern here why we are getting is that the spaces that we have used are not properly aligned so what does that mean is that if i print the spaces variable here i am getting the value as 10 so it was telling that in middle of these two stars we have 10 spaces and later we have eight spaces and later we have six spaces but that is not what we wanted here we want only six spaces so for that reason what i will be doing is that i will decrement the spaces value variable with four times so by decrementing the spaces four number of times we can actually get only six spaces in middle of this so i will comment this spaces printing and now if i execute this so now we can able to see the actual pattern that is what we have expected previously. So I hope you can able to understand this particular code here. So if not, I will explain one more time for you. So first initially we have taken this rows to know how many number of rows we want this particular pattern. Later we have observed spaces in this pattern in middle. So for that reason I have taken a variable spaces. Initially I have assigned with zero because in the first row we don't have any spaces for that reason i have assigned the spaces variable with zero later we are using a for loop to generate this above pattern here so initially i will be generating a range of values from how many number of rows we are having till one by generating that we can actually generate this particular pattern above so here in the print what i am doing is that i am multiplying this star with how many number of values that we are having on each row so here we have five rows five stars later four stars like that this will be multiplied this i will be multiplied with the stars later we have observed the spaces right so for that reason i am concatenating the stars with spaces and we are getting this middle spaces after that we we want this right side pattern of stars for that reason i am mentioning star with i so by mentioning this we can actually generate this particular right side pattern of stars later we are incrementing the spaces by two on each iteration because in the pattern middle spaces are increased by two on each row because of that reason we are incrementing the spaces on each iteration later we are reducing the spaces by four times because if we don't do that we will get a different kind of pattern for that reason we are reducing these spaces with four number of times later to generate this below pattern we are using another for loop and generating a range of values from 2 to how many number of rows that we are having so in the print function we are doing the similar pattern what we are doing above so initially we are printing these particular stars later we are concatenating the stars with spaces 
after that again we are concatenating that spaces with stars by concatenating and multiplying that strings we can get this particular below pattern on each iteration i will be reducing this particular spaces two times so because we are reducing we are getting lower number of spaces on each iteration so like that we are getting this pattern so now what i will be doing is that i will take input dynamically from the user so for that i am mentioning int because i want integer as an input so i am mentioning input to get the input from the user so i am asking user to enter any number so i am asking user to enter any number by using this input so if i execute this it was asking me to enter in number if i give 5 here i am getting the same pattern of what we have expected with similar example we have discussed previously now if i execute this some other number let's say i am giving the value as 8 if i execute this i can able to get the pattern of similar pattern with the number 8 so let me execute with one more number let's say i am giving 15 number here so like this we can, if you can see carefully here we are getting this particular big pattern by using 15 like this we can actually generate any pattern any any number we can with any number we can actually generate this particular pattern i hope you can able to understand i i hope you can able to do this particular pattern so later what we are having is that in the next video we will be discussing this particular pattern and how we can generate this particular pattern using for loop string concatenation and string multiplication if you can able to solve this particular pattern answer your solution in the comment section that is more appreciated anyway we will discuss this particular pattern in the next video to stay updated subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell icon to all so that whenever i upload any video you will get the notification so having said that thank you for watching this video See you in the next one.